morning, fellow wet shavers. I'll be right here back with enjoying my um, awesome keto pumpkin spice coffee. Mm. Amazing. Okay. You didn't come here to watch me drink coffee now, did you? But very, very nice coffee. If you guys want the, it's really, really sim super simple, no sugar, just black coffee, pumpkin spice, heavy cream, a couple drops of stevia, Pff, fan, freaking casket. If you like pumpkin spice, that's the way to go. All right, now we're going into today, today's shave. What am I using? Eh, from the thumbnail, you probably understand. But so I have something very special coming up here really soon. Um, I'm expecting expecting a delivery of something that I really, really am looking forward to to sharing with you guys. Because of that, I need kind of a reset on. I just need to re re baseline, you know, sh a shave with a with a soap that I'm 100% familiar with. Bam, Sterling, Christmas Eve. <laughs> I don't know how Rod does it, but this really evokes. The, the smells of Christmas between the pine and some of the vanillas and it just everything, everything about it is just beautiful and just totally says Christmas time. But for me, I'm out of focus. But for me, again, this is a scent that I could use anytime because I, I do like the piney scents and this is just beautiful. Having said that, though, I am still continuing on with the theme of Wild Away Shaving Co. Appreciation Month. How am I going to do that, you might say? With this bad boy. I am going with this gold dollar that was honed by Russell Barton. Now, the last time that I used a straight razor in a video, actually, straight razor in general, um, it was finished off with the uh, Arkansas Black Translucent. This one is the Arkansas Gray. So it's going to give me a really good feeling on how, really good indication on how I feel about both types of finishes, okay? So... The gray is supposed to be a, less, a little bit less sharp, but smoother than the uh, black translucent. So we'll see how it goes. Post shave, I got some Sterling Unscented Balm, and I got the unscent, or Unscented Splash Glacial. Glacial Balm Unscented as well. Um, I did not get the matching splash with this, just in case I didn't like it. All right. Um... <laughs> In case I, oh, and I did drop this, um, I gave it, pardon me, 15 laps on the canvas, and then about 25 on the leather. And I have a backup just in case. Brush. Going with my wolf whiskers. Um, I'm digging this knot. Like I said, in my last video, <clears throat> it's not quite broken in yet. There's still a little bit of... Scritch or scratch, whatever you want to call it, but man, it, it's just, it's breaking in nicely. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Now, I am going to get cracking. So, I've got the um, soap blooming right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my face. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So, whereas Russell's Christmas one had more of like um, <clears throat> inside Christmassy scents, like, you know, little wafts of like some fruit cake or, you know, someone smoking a pipe or something like that and some honey, you know, more of a foodie type Christmassy stuff. This one is basically pretty much all outdoors. <clears throat> And it's amazing. Both are fantastic scents. And just a second, let me turn my hand off real quick. You guys gotta see this. I mean, it is full. I mean, there's almost no room to bloom. So I'm looking forward to this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, Hmm. I'll keep the brush warm, so I'll go with the warm hot ladder today. Okay, I'm going to shake this. I don't want too much water. Water. Alright, here we go. So yeah, 
it's this Saturday, and like I said, I'm expecting something coming in. It's supposed to be here Monday, so I didn't want to, I want to get that, a video of that, I want to record a video using that item as soon as possible, so I want to make sure that I am able to, what the hell am I trying to say? I'm losing it. I should have more coffee. All right, let me start over. So this shave today, I wanted to make sure I got it in. I've got the time, <clears throat> excuse me. And I thought, you know what? This is a great chance to finally use that other, other uh, straight razor from Russell with a different finish. Because um, I don't know if I'll be able to get a shave in on Christmas Eve, which is Monday. And that's when I'm actually expecting that delivery. Oh, you guys are going to be super, super excited about that. So I want to make sure I, because my, my next, like I said, I'll probably shave again on Sunday. Um, but I probably won't be able to record it. Um, Monday's just going to be super, super busy. I have to wake up early and then go get the ham that we're going to have for Christmas dinner. Um of water so I don't know if I'll and then my wife might be working Christmas on Monday too so we're not sure yet sucks life of a nurse man I can already shave with this stuff this is awesome awesome so I got about two days worth of growth one and a half to two I think it'll be a good test for this edge because my whiskers are pretty firm pretty coarse right now oh scent strength is a good five nice and tiny beautiful we're going to the puck here Just crept up to a six or seven. I love being able to smell my soaps throughout the shave. So, like I said, I'm very excited about something coming in Monday. I'm not going to say who or what. So that shave, I'm going to do my best to do it I'll try to get it um, recorded that day on Monday but like I said, I might not be able to get the um, editing done really quick To get it done fast, I may just have to edit it on my phone and not have any music Sorry guys. Sorry Pink Floyd fans. Sterling awesomeness. Okay. Alright. Let me clean my mirror off so I can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you 
guys don't go for a ride. Right. It's okay. Okay. Here's this bad boy right here. Like I said, I had given it um, 15 laps on the canvas and then 25 on the leather. All right, here we go. So once again, this is a gold dollar honed by Russell Barton at Wild West Shape Shaving Co. And this is the Arkansas Gray, or Gray Arkansas. I'm not sure which one it is. So here we go. First pass with the gray. You guys see? I hope so. I'm thinking I might need the sharper edge. too much. Yeah, not too bad. It is, it is smoother, but I think it's, at the same time, it might be a little bit more tuggy than the, uh, in the black translucent so dry my hands off real quick. Hold on. Water drip down too much. So it is taking down some hair. <laughs> hmm. That's feeling nice though. It's, it's actually feeling really good.
pretty good actually. Need more tissue. Good, that's good. It's good, we're going cold water. It's pretty good actually. Oh no, I just dropped my damn brush. Huge global lather just flew off and landed right next to the toilet. Oh man, the shape is going nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, I'm having a hard time deciding. I'm having a hard time deciding which finish I like more. We'll see how this uh, cross grain pass goes. Here we go. Oh, good. Apologize for the quietness. Just really wanted to enjoy this. I'm finding it's a little bit better when I just use some tissue and wipe off the uh, the lather. Keeps everything nice and dry. My first pass took up more hair than I expected. Still retarded. Sweet. 
apparently I did a pretty good job on the stropping. <laughs> Knock on wood. I know, I know, I keep wiping a lot. But hey, it's my shave. Nice, really nice. I'll be honest, I can go with either edge. Either edge. Um, I know there are some out there that they need the sharpest edge possible, right? But for me, man, it's, it's awesome. Okay, we're going to try some against the grain right now just to see how it feels. That would be a really good uh, deep um, indicator as well. If this will uh, work for me or not. Now for a damn fine shape, this is perfect. It is smoother. But like I said, in some areas it felt like a tad tuggy. But that second pass was really smooth. Real smooth. I mean, I got my chin pretty well and that's where I have a lot of issues right here. My hands more. Okay. So against the grain is north to south here, and then south to north here. So let me start here. I don't care so much against the grain here, that's fine. Against the grain on my chin, it's always hard. Always hard. And for some reason, against the grain right here is a lot more difficult for me to get with the east as well. I don't know why. Very, very, very nice, actually. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot damn. Really, really good. Really good. This was cool. This is really, really awesome. Not bad at all. I'm trying with a little bit of cleanup here. 
try to go against the grain right here. That's a no-no. <laughs> That's a no-no. Those of you that are shaved or a straight razor shavers, have you tried this inverted path like this? It actually works really well. The two that I see use it the most is uh, Frank Stromberg and um, Carl Kiefer. Both excellent shavers. Excellent wet tubers. I'm happy guys. I am so freaking happy. I am happy. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my other video. With the uh, translucent, the black translucent. All right, we're not gonna chase the dragon anymore. We're done. We are done, 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 done. Awesome, awesome, phenomenal shave. I can freaking lather everywhere. Awesome, man, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta use this soap bubba. You guys know how good so sterling is, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit rougher right here, but that's pretty typical when I use shave vets and straights right now. I mean, I think I've only got two, three, maybe only four full straight shaves. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think so. And I've, so four or five, four, and I've tried maybe six times. I recorded them all, but I think one or two of them were in China. And I, like I mentioned, I was drinking and I was in a bad mood and those videos just, <laughs> no bueno. No bueno. Uh, let me rinse this off. I gotta, you know, after spending a lot of this time with um, Wallowa Shave Co., it's another one of those soaps that's probably best bang for buck as well. I mean, the soap you can use with anything, you know, DE, straight, shave it, cartridge, if you're still into cartridges. And what I like about, so, I mean, Sterling Wild West Shaving Co., they both have a shit ton of scents to choose from, right? So you got something for everybody, I think. And, yes, I I got pussy skin. So unfortunately, there's a couple of soaps from both companies that um, I get reactions to, which, which sucks balls, but it is what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. 
Your mileage may vary. All right. Oh, Steve. So, like I said, I don't have the matching splash to this. I kind of wish I got it now, but it's okay. We're going with Sterling Unscented. Glacial. Love this stuff. Nice and simple. No scent. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of feedback. <laughs> Here. That was the most one. I got a little bit in here. I'll take it. Awesome. Awesome, man. It's a good shave. Oh, I love that menthol. That's the one thing I kind of wish this soap had was a, just a touch of menthol. Just to kind of remind you, baby, it's cold outside. You guys know what I mean? All right. Um, my uh, makeshift pumpkin spice coffee. Mm, this is a good shave. Really good shave. All right, just gonna put a touch of balm on. Apologize for the long video. Beautiful. Great. All right. Let me wash my hands off and we're going to call this video done. All right. So this is a little bit longer than my past couple of videos. Apologize for that. But man, I just really wanted to uh, take my time and, <clears throat> pardon me, really get the feel for that edge. Um, honestly, I could go with either one. Um, my gut is kind of leaning more towards the black translucent just because, but oh man, I, I could take either one, honestly. I mean, I think the um, translucent got me a tad closer, I think. But like I said, this one, you can really feel the difference. It is smoother. <clears throat> so that's something that you're just going to have to... Uh, Decide on your own. Do you want... Uh, do you need that smoothness? Right? It's, it's, it reminds me of very... I would suggest you try both edges and decide for yourself because for me, I could go with either one of them. Like, but like I mentioned though, for my beer type, um, the black translucent might have given me just a tad closer. Right? Probably maybe the same irritation. I mean, either way, I'm, I'm not going to be going against the grain anytime soon. But it's, it's hard right here for me. It's sensitive. She's all red now. No blood. I had that one week right here, and I think I had one here. Gone. Closed up. So, right. I got to cut this video short. I apologize for the length. Um, quick little recap. The uh, This gold dollar. Ru uh, Russ, honed by Russell Barton at Wild West Shaving Co., and this edge is the um, Arkansas Gray. Beautiful, beautiful edge. Um, like I had mentioned, I'm <clears throat> excuse me, I'm torn between the two still. I I, I don't know. <laughs> soap was Sterling Soap Company's Christmas Eve. If you like pine scents, snag this. This is beautiful. Fan freaking head. It's not straight pine. There's I know there's some cranberry in the background. I think there's a little bit of vanilla. I'm a dumbass and didn't um, get all the scent notes, but it's beautiful. It's, it's what a Christmas tree should smell like. No mint. <laughs> That's my thing, right? No mint. No menthol either. But would have been kind of nice. Um, Poche was Glur Sterling's Glacial Unscented Splash and Balm. My Wolf Whiskers with a TGN Silver Tip Grade A Badger Knot, 24 millimeter. That's it. I'm out of here. If I don't get a chance to record for Christmas, I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. But like I said, I do have my next shave video is going to be super, super, super exciting. I am so stoked about this. It's something new. Um, I don't think anybody has tried it yet. Awesome, huh? Okay, that's it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. And until next time, this is Leroy, No Meal Shaves, signing off and wishing everybody very Merry Christmas once again and Happy Holidays. And remember, please don't drink and drive. And then whatever you do, 
as well. Do not text and drive. 